Hello world, Tinker Tom DIY here and in this video we are going to finally dig into these 36 volt battery packs that I picked up off of eBay. Uh, if you'll recall from the first video I talked about uh, being able to grab these in bulk where I got 10 of these packs at a time and when you take the cost and you divide them by the 20 cells that came in each pack, that's 200 cells total um, that came from that order and each individual cell came out to be a dollar twenty-five each which is uh, a bang up deal for a brand new cell. Now these should be Samsung cells and they should be uh, 2200 milliamp hour batteries and so um, this is what I was basing a lot of my calculations on as far as calculating uh, what the kilowatt hour or watt hour capacity of what the two projects are that I'm going to be working on. Uh, in this case, this project of course is the portable mini power wall which we're looking to drive about a 300 watt inverter uh, with of course a 12 volt uh, DC battery supply to power it all. So we're going to go ahead and tear into these battery packs that we got and again there were four of these that came wrapped in this blue shrink wrap. Uh, and then the other ones came like that that you see back there. So we're going to have to carefully try to remove um, this wrapping. And we're going to go right down here in the middle. Try to slice it. Come up this way a little bit. Try to slice it. Let's see if we can pull this stuff off. Let's see what's inside of these packs. So good things. Looks like these are Samsung cells. Uh, and they're probably the 2200 milliamp hour battery pack, so that's great. Let's keep getting the blue stuff pulled off. And so there we go, the blue stuff is off. And we have the battery packs. We've got four here on top, uh, and then we've got 16 here on the bottom side. Um, trying to figure out what the best way is going to be to try to. Uh, get all the battery cells loose from this pack because as I mentioned before I really am not interested in trying to use this as a 36 volt pack which is how it's currently set up uh, and of course we need to recompose the cells so that we can use it in the 12 volt system so we're peeling off these end pieces here that I guess helps cover and protect all the terminals of the batteries which is nice and all but I need to take it apart don't I so there we go more sticky stuff this seems to be a recurring trend because trying to get the sticky stuff off of those um, the cells that I've harvested from that Chinese battery pack that I grabbed off Amazon uh, yesterday and that stuff was sticky and a pain in the butt to work with and I've got one more of those battery packs on its way right now um, to help finish round it, rounding out this project. Uh, so those cells actually ended up tested out really, really nicely. And uh, we'll take a closer look at um, the results of that testing uh, in the next video when we also have a chance to look at how well these Samsung cells uh, test out as well. So uh, we'll be talking about these Samsung cells, those no-name cells that came out of the Chinese laptop battery, and there's even some ultra fires hiding back there to talk about as well. Um, since those batteries tend to be um, very frequently unfavorably thought of, so let's see. So we've got all the paper pieces off. Um, I think the easiest thing to do is to probably just take off these top four cells and then maybe cut the cells here in the or the tabs here in the corner um, to then break away the, the last 16 so let's see if we can get into this without causing any catastrophic failures because uh, I'm not looking to be causing any fires or get zapped by DC current if at all possible so there we go, we are trying to pry up the one corner there and kind of cutting it a bit. There we go, that's one side done. Now we're going to do the other side here. 
Oh, this side's got some solder on it. I wonder if we're gonna have to take the iron to that to, to cut that loose. I think we will. So we will have to warm up the soldering iron here in just a couple of minutes. Let's see what else we can. Uh, wow, the constructions on these packs are pretty good. There we go. Alright, and I'm trying not to top things around too much. So there's a couple cells free. And we're looking here on this top side. And. Hmm. Can I maybe pry this up a little bit? Oh, well, that just broke off the the spot welds on this one were not held on very well. So with that loose, maybe we can just pull it up from that one. That worked. We'll come over here to this battery and just pull. All right, well, making progress. More sticky stuff, Ray. All right, let's not get too aggressive with the pulling and. You know, let's cut where we can or you know do our rolling technique to get things to come off cleanly there we go it didn't do too badly there we'll go ahead and try to take off this side for these batteries and rolling that off there we go so the spot welds seems to be a weak point on these uh, 36 volt packs, which again doesn't bother me too much because I wasn't intending to use them that way. Uh, we'll get in here and we'll try rolling that off. Great. Same thing going the other way. Awesome. So that's four free. Only 16 more to go. So let's see here. Um, we're gonna try seeing if we can cut across here. All right, that's not going too shabby there. And see if we can do this side the same way. It's like opening up a tin can where you're just going a little at a time, a little at a time. Oh, so these are actually here in the middle too. Well, that's interesting. So, pull off some tape here. And see if we can kind of take a look at what's in here. Uh, hmm makes you really wonder how they were able to put this system together if um, if those were spot welded there in the center like that interesting um, you can kind of pry it apart a little bit and you know what I'm really curious to try to take off this black piece so let's do that Mm, so that's how they got it together. Well, I guess that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, you know, just be careful with these tabs. Uh, there is still some power here on the system um, in some places. Uh, let's see here. So how are we going to... Well, I guess we can do this real quick where we know we can get into and take care of. So we'll just do that. Oops, careful. Okay, so that's part is free. Okay, I guess we can just pull it off. Like that. And over here, maybe not so lucky because these are already 
together. So let's see if we can pull off the tabs that hold everything together in these groups. There we go. And just keep working it around using the twisting motions. Okay, there we go. That's not too, too terrible going. Uh, so now that that is done, I can come over here and I guess at this point just rip, rip off these cells. Um, we'll go ahead and get them loose from each other. Have to go back and do some cleanup to remove the little bits and pieces here because it's leaving a bit of trash behind which is okay we'll have to deal with it and this is just the sticky stuff that's holding it together all right there we go just two more down this side's held together just that sticky stuff pull that off stick it aside come over here and we will pull off these tabs. Ooh, wow. There we go. So there's another one. Let's see here. All right, we'll clean this one up a little later. So what we're going to go ahead and do is um, take these cells and we're going to throw them on the Opus charger and we're going to go ahead and get them charged up to full. We will drain them down to empty, see how many milliamp hours are in these cells. Again, these are uh, rated for 2200 milliamp hour. And in the next video, we will take a look at how well these Samsung cells perform. Uh, versus the the purple Chinese no names that came out of the laptop battery pack, and versus some Dell, um, some well used Dell um, batteries that came out of a, a Dell laptop battery pack, and of course some Ultra Fires as well. So with that, we are getting closer and closer to the point of being able to start sticking these cells into that battery pack. Um, and we will talk more about these cells in the next video. So with that, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And now check in the video description where I will have uh, affiliate links to Amazon, uh, which will help to support the channel and fund some of these projects. Uh, and those links will include products that I use um, that you guys can pick up yourself. So thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.